Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. What does it matter? Just this, that Christ is proclaimed in every way, whether out of false motives or true, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. It is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in any way, but that by my speaking with all boldness, Christ will be exalted now, as always in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, living is Christ and dying is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I prefer. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Since I am convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with all of you for your progress and joy in faith, so that I may share abundantly in your boasting in Christ Jesus when I come to you again. I love St. Paul. I think he is so powerful and beautiful with the words that he uses and and sometimes they sting sometimes they're harsh like at the beginning of today's passage he's literally telling them all that matters is that christ is being proclaimed even if you're doing it with ulterior motives all that matters is that christ is being proclaimed and i really appreciate that as a very imperfect person myself because let's face it we are all imperfect for me in my case i i struggle with vanity you know i'm on cameras all day i i, I speak on stages i speak in front of parishes and it's like man do i have a hair out of place And if you're listening on radio, the joke there is that I shave my head. I don't have hair, but I do. I am conscious. You know, how do I look from this angle and, and, and what is, you know, how well are people going to receive what I'm saying and how, how well is that going to impact my ministry through awakened Catholic? And all of that is, is vanity. The, the, what really matters is, is Christ being proclaimed. Even if I do have a little hair out of place on my chin, or, or if I have something, you know, a little fuzzy on my shirt, or if there's a mosquito that flies by my face while I'm on camera, all of that is vanity and I need to release it. I, re, I need to release it because what matters is for Jesus Christ, blessed be his name, to be proclaimed. And I need to do so even at the risk of humiliation, even at the risk of looking silly, of looking absurd maybe with my passion. I've worked at parishes where where my passion was not understood by the rest of the parish staff. My invitation to you today is to fall more deeply, more radically in love with Christ and to proclaim Christ in all aspects of your life, even at the risk of humiliation or a social death. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.